You got to be kidding me. All right. That's it. What in Tartarus are you still doing up, mortal? Oh, watch that mug. I hope that coffee wasn't too hot. Good luck trying to get those stains out tomorrow. Who am I? Oh, I'm your voice of reason. You know, that little voice in your head that helps you make smart choices. Though if that were true, I'd be a hell of a lot smaller in your case. But anyway, it doesn't really matter who I am. I'm here to tell you to get your ass to bed. Don't bother with your phone, mortal. The battery's dead. It better be, given how much sand I've had to use to shut it down earlier. Gods, I hate technology. You don't even want to know how much overtime I've put in since smartphones were invented. No, no, listen. I'm not going to hurt you, mortal. No, I'm not here to rob you either. What would I even do with anything you own? Like I said, I'm just here to tell you to go to bed. If you go to sleep, then I will go away. It's as simple as that. To be honest, I don't even know how you're still awake. I've given you two doses of sand tonight. After the second one, the air was so thick with magic I thought I was going to suffocate. You, however, should be out cold by this point. Well, from the looks of you, I won't deny that maybe you are going crazy. But no, this is not a dream. I wish it were, that would mean you were already asleep and I wouldn't need to be wasting my time trying to put you to bed like a stubborn child. And now you look like you're gonna cry. Great. <sighs> look, maybe I came on too strong. Now that I think about it, I suppose it must be frightening to have a strange woman in a color-changing cloak show up in your bedroom in the dead of night. So, how about this? Instead of just dumping the rest of my bag of sand on your head and knocking you out right here and now, I will try my best to explain. But you have to promise that you'll go to sleep after this. Deal? I guess I should start with who I am, then. I am the goddess of dreams. Yes, I am the daughter of Hypnos, as in the god of sleep. For your information, he doesn't take kindly to mortals refusing his ultimate gift to humanity. But anyway, I am the goddess of dreams. Sometimes I'm called the Sandman. <laughs> It's funny how you mortals assume that I am a man, but, well, I've taken it upon myself not to correct anyone. That's right, that Sandman. My responsibilities are many, for those who please my father, or whom he otherwise deems worthy, I can use my sand to give them pleasant dreams. But for those who can't sleep, or who resist it for whatever reason, like you, I can also just use it to put them to sleep. Well, of course it's magic. Have you ever seen ordinary sand do that? Don't believe me? Look. Behold, the most important tool of my trade <laughs> Been writing poetry with all that extra time, have you? Still, not a bad description. I suppose it does kind of look like someone dipped a bag into the sky and scooped up a million tiny stars. You certainly wouldn't find sand like this anywhere in your mortal realm. It's from the shores of Erebus, 
the place of darkness between the mortal plane and the underworld, my father's domain, and mine. But anyway, all that aside, I would really advise you to stop depriving yourself from sleep, mortal. How is it any of my business? Did you listen to anything I just said? I am the goddess of dreams. It is my business, but beyond that, mortal, you are destroying yourself. The bright lights, the icy showers, the endless coffees and sodas and energy drinks. And that's not even to mention your headaches or the bruises from the times you've nearly collapsed from exhaustion. For goodness sakes, you fell down the stairs the other day. You've got to stop this before you get hurt. Or at least before you hurt yourself even more. What do you mean you can't? Are you, are you going back on our deal? Well, why am I not surprised? Ugh. Listen, mortal. Besides the fact that breaking a deal with a god is a terrible idea, I'm not the only one you have to worry about. Like I said earlier, Father doesn't take kindly to people ignoring him. You have been on his radar with all of this. Whatever you're doing, believe me, you don't want to make it any worse. There you go again saying you can't. Fine, suit yourself. If you want to go and piss Father off, then who am I to stop you? I'm still putting you to sleep, by the way. There's no way I'm getting chewed out because of your stupidity. I swear, why would you risk the wrath of not one, but two gods? It's almost like you're afraid to sleep. Wait, is that the reason? Are you... afraid? Are you serious? Oh, Zeus is Thunderbolt, why didn't you just say so? Okay, fine, whatever. What's making you afraid, mortal? Hearing weird noises or something under your bed? You've been having nightmares. What kind? I understand that it's difficult to talk about, but the more you can tell me, the more I can help. Or at least try. Tell me what your nightmares are about. Oh. Oh. Um, okay. How often have you had these? Once a week? Twice? A w every night? How long has this been going on? Oh, gods. I'm terribly sorry to ask, mortal, but did something happen recently? Some sort of awful experience? Perhaps a change in your life that brought a lot of stress? I see. I'm not sure if something is wrong. Nightmares every now and then are normal. They can even be a good thing, a warning, a way for the mind to cope with reality, you know? Another one of Father's gifts, or so he claims, but to have them as frequently as you do, and for them to be that awful. And, given what you told me, something's not right. I, I don't know what it could be. I could check it out, though. Yes, really. I can't promise anything, mind you, but I can try. I suppose no one truly deserves that sort of torment, even if you have been an absolute ass. No, no, don't thank me. I'm only doing my job. Speaking of which, you are still not off the hook for sleeping. No, no, don't panic. I promised I would help, didn't I? I'm still going to put you to sleep, but I can choose whether or not to give you dreams. For the time being, I won't. I will give you deep, dreamless sleep. No dreams of any kind, therefore no nightmares. Uh, 
Right, of course, you're welcome, I suppose. Don't mention it. Now, come on, if we talk any longer, the sun's gonna sneak up on us. Get in bed. No, you don't need pajamas. You don't have to have them on. You'll be fine sleeping in your clothes for one night. Now, please do us both a favor and lie down. Thank you. Now, don't worry. You won't feel a thing. There. Get some rest, mortal. Just had to have the last word, don't you? I swear you were the most stubborn thing I've ever met. Take care of yourself, understand? I will be back once I know something. Sleep well. <laughs>